Hello everyone and welcome back again to another exciting episode of Designing with Hope on Design. Now we are technically 10 days away from the first day of fall and I have been getting my home ready for the fall which I'm sure many of you are doing the same thing as well. So in this video today I'm going to share with you my fall favorite. So let's go ahead and jump right in. One of my favorite things about the fall season is that I get the opportunity to curl up next to my fireplace and wrap myself in one of my cozy blankets and catch up on some good reads and I love coffee table books because two reasons number one I love to read and number two I can use them as decorative accents so now this first book I picked up from Z Gallery it's called Prada and it follows the evolution of this particular brand so this is going to be a very interesting read and of course, I cannot go without getting an interior design book. And I picked up this book. It's called Martin Lawrence Bulliard, Live, Love, and Decorate. And in this book, he shares the homes of the celebrities that he decorated from Elton John to Cher to Cheryl Teagues. And he's a very colorful interior designer. So this book was a great read. I started reading this one. I'm halfway done, but I mostly look at it for the pictures. And I was excited when I ran across this book in my local Dollar Tree store. It's Life, Michelle Obama, A Portrait of the First Lady. And at that time, they only had eight left. So I purchased all eight of them because I gave some away as gifts. So I haven't started reading this one yet. I may start this one next month. And my last book is one of my favorites. This was given to me by one of my design clients. And it's Whitney, and it's a tribute to an icon. I have always been a huge Whitney Houston fan, so I was in tears when I received this as a gift from one of my interior design clients. Okay, guys, now this piece of art is one of my fall favorites for three reasons. Number one, it has this hip, funky, eclectic vibe to it. Number two, it incorporates all the colors that I'm using in my home. And number three, I love the abstract look and feel of this art. You really can't tell if you're looking at the back part of someone's head or the front part of their face, but it's all blurred out. Now, I'm really not a fan of the wood frame, so I'm going to have a custom frame into more of a modern style frame. Now, I cannot wait to show you guys how I incorporate this art into my home. And also, remember, one of my tips on how to make your home look expensive is to use large overscale art. See, I practice what I preach. These metal horses are one of my fall favorites because they were a gift from my best friend, Rolanda. Rolanda and I have been best friends for over 20 years, so she knows my design style and taste in my home. I absolutely love these. I love that it's more of a sculptured look. It has this um, brass look to it with this black um, base onto it. And these are going to look great on top of my bookcase or inside of the bookcase, or I may even showcase them on my entryway table. But I cannot wait to show you guys how I incorporate these horses into my home for the fall. Okay guys, now it's time for a quick break because I have a confession to make. I confess that I am addicted to shopping at Z Gallery. Well, while I was shopping at Z Gallery, once again, I came across these cheese knives and they were actually on sale. They're by Lynx and I absolutely fell in love with them and I'm going to show you the reason why. The handles are made like a bullhorn and it's in a cream and a brown color and then you have the cutting part that's made of this beautiful um, glossy gold. And also while I was there, I got these on sale as well, and these are salad servers. And once again, they have the handle made like a bull's horn, and then the tongs in the server is also in that glossy gold as well. Now I am hosting my annual women's fall brunch, and I cannot wait to see the faces of my guests when they see me tossing the salad using these babies right here. And once again, these two items were picked up at Z Gallery on sale there. I feel good. I have confessed my addiction. Now, somebody please help me. 
Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my collection of looking glasses. I, I have this fetish now for collecting looking glasses. And I fell in love with this looking glass because again, it has that bullhorn handle and it looks like an ivory tusk. It has a combination of creams and browns in it. So this is going to add to my collection. And also I picked this up again because of the bullhorn look. It has an ombre effect. It starts off with a darkish gray and then it goes into an ombre into a silver grayish blue color and then it also has a black base now these are trending I've seen these in a lot of interiors and I've also seen these at the showrooms um, at the Dallas World Trade Center and I'm starting to really collect these and I think they're going to replace those deer uh, tax well those faux deer taxidermy heads that I've been using in my home so you may want to uh, if you see some of these pick some of these up because these are trending right now and last but not least, this is one of my fall favorites. And if you watch my video, How to Make Your Home Look Expensive, one of the things that you can incorporate into your home to make it look expensive, and that is to collect art sculptures. So this will be the fourth piece of art sculpture that I have collected for my home. And it's acrobats that um, are cheerleaders. I think it's more so acrobats. But I love the symmetry of this. And this will look good on a coffee table behind a sofa or in a bookcase or it can just be a centerpiece on your coffee table so I cannot wait to show you guys how I incorporate this sculpture into my home for the fall okay so there you have it those are my fall favorites and I cannot wait to show you how I incorporate every single one of those decorative accessories into my home for the fall. Now, if you follow me on Instagram at Holt on Design TX, you would have seen a lot of my pictures where I have gotten my home all painted. It's a grayish blue color, and so I'm doing a lot of remodeling in my home, and I'm hoping to get it all finished before the holiday season. So right now, I am decorating my home for the fall, and there are going to be some spaces that I'm going to reveal to you guys and just show you some fall trends or how I incorporate a lot of those fall accessories into my home. Now hopefully before Christmas I will be able to reveal all of the spaces in my home that has had a redesigned facelift and I know that you're probably anxious to see the new wall color, some of the new art and accessories and also some new furnishings that I've purchased for my home. So once again if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you want to get more tips on design and decorating, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And once again, thanks for watching Designing with Hope on Design. Designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye for now.